Hello and welcome back my friends to another watercolor tutorial. We are going to be utilizing finally my metallic colors in my new palette here. So I love this palette. It comes with uh, 100 colors that include I think it's like 50 regular colors and then the other 50 is a split between eggshell neon and metallic. So um, I love the palette. The opacity is unmatched to anything I've tried at least. So I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. If you use that link, it gives me a little bit of commission, helps me continue to make these videos. I love these watercolors and I am not just saying that. I've been using the same palette for three years. I tried this one, it blew my mind. So we're gonna use the metallic colors in this painting, but if you don't have metallic colors or you're waiting for this new palette to arrive in the mail, um, you can certainly use whatever colors that you have. So it's gonna be a dragonfly. I've drawn out a circle. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I erased it so that it wasn't super visible when we paint over it. But now I'm gonna draw out my dragonfly. So um, the tail is going to actually extend a little bit beyond the circle or whatever you call this part of the dragonfly. I love dragonflies and I've gained a new appreciation for them living here because in the forest there's lots of bugs and when these guys come out they're like firefighters in a fire. <laughs> they, they come to their rescue, they fly around like crazy and eat every insect that is bothering you. So typically it's the black flies or the deer flies or the mosquitoes, but they are my friends and I like them very much. So anyway, you can, I, I technically should have done this before filming this, but I wanted to show you the process of drawing out um, a dragonfly and so you can kind of learn from my mistakes or learn from my process here. You can look up an image on the internet for yourself to make it easier uh, or you can trace it which I would recommend because who cares if you're tracing it. It's what you paint that matters. So I'm just going to have the wings extend beyond my circle. Is okay. I'm really excited. I just want to sketch this guy out so I can get started. <laughs> like I've always seen people paint with metallic colors online and I've always thought it looked super neat but I wasn't eager enough to actually order a palette and try it out myself with metallic colors, but man, when a company reached out to me and was like, hey, you wanna try these? I was like, yes, I do. And I'm so glad I did because this palette has uh, really changed the way I paint, I would say. Anyways, okay. I am happy with this in general. What we do now, if you're familiar with my videos, we very lightly erase and I know that seems counterintuitive but we just do it so that it is barely visible to us so that we can still see what where we're painting but you know not visible enough that it shows through the watercolor so that should be good, I think. 
So I'm just adjusting my legs here. All right. Should we do the whole thing in metallic or just metallic accents? What do you think? Maybe we should do the whole thing in metallic. How fun would that be? I wasn't intending on that, but now that I think about it, why the heck not? Uh, let's see. I will choose, so I'm using a size eight here. Let's go with, what is this? This is like a metallic pink of some sorts. And what I'm going to do is have a really nice gradient. So I have the pink there. And then I'm going to grab a blue, a nice metallic blue. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. These colors, I cannot rave about them enough. They're so bright, so opaque. And then join them up. So I erased my lines a little bit too well because I can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> that wing is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, these colors. I am so, so impressed. Really, truly impressed. Okay, so for this one, I don't want to mirror them necessarily. I want them to be like super funky and cool. And so this one's going to be pink and this one's going to be orange. Um, so I'm sorry if I zoom out enough for you to see the palette, then you won't see my painting close up enough. So it's in the future, guys, in the future, I will get a decent camera that has like a wide angle situation and then we won't have to deal with the uh, hmm or maybe I should stick to the blue yeah I'm gonna stick to the blue But I will use orange metallic here on the bottom portion. Ah, just the way that it, look how beautifully opaque that is. Oh my goodness. I can't rave enough about it. Blending those two together. Gorgeous. I'm very impressed with these colors. Okay. So, what shall we do for the bottom parts of these wings? I don't know. stick with this gorgeous pink metallic color and I have to think quick what other color I want 
maybe like a I don't know aqua metallic aqua whatever color this is it's very pretty okay actually I don't like it that much after I painted it on I don't not too keen on that color combination choice but it has been painted so we're just gonna stick with it my ears are really hot all of a sudden I don't like that um I can hear the rain outside and I just want it to stop so I can go do the stuff that I need to do out there. Uh, it's see this is it's nice enough but it's not like boom in your face. I wanted this to be something and it's not. Hmm. Maybe I should go with a, a purple or something. I need to think quick here. <laughs> I don't know what metallic color this... No, I already don't like it. I don't like it. What about this one? It's like a silvery blue. Mm. okay I guess but I'm gonna add that original blue which was super opaque and I loved it and the pink or maybe I don't know what color this is we'll just combine all of those together and see what happens. That's decent enough, I guess. I don't know if you can see that metallic especially on this turquoise color gorgeous I really really like that so anyways where are we in our process here okay so we need to now I think paint the body of our dragonfly but we have to make sure that these wing connections are completely dry before we do that because uh, we don't want to ruin our painting so let's just dry that up quickly okay so this should be dry so i'm going to paint i'm going to just start with the body i'll leave the head for now so I've taken a blue, combined a little bit of it with black, so we're just going to work with uh, shading here. Let me see if I can go even closer for you. I just hope I don't go off the screen as I really tend to do a lot of the times. But you want to choose like a shadow point, I guess you could say. And that's where you're going to concentrate most of the pigment and then you're going to blend it out. So um, this is going to be my shadow point as I 
I'm going to call it. And then I'm rinsing my brush. And I'm just blending that out. Just be mindful that you create like a concave placeholder for the head of this dragonfly. Just like that. So I'm just adding some black to concentrate those areas a little bit more since they fade out a tiny bit when you blend it out. And then we can go ahead into the tail or whatever it's called of the dragonfly. And I do want to keep this portion a little bit light, like equivalent to this, this part, because I want to add shading later, and if it's too dark, then it won't show through. So, zoom out a little bit and uh, let's see I'm going to paint the eyes now so those are gonna be red and I'm gonna try and do try is the keyword the same thing where I add a little bit of black to the red, but for the eyes, I'm switching to my quadruple zero brush because um, the eyes are a lot smaller. So, you know, I need more control. So they're gonna be kind of concentrated towards the top of the head so you can do a little outline for yourself first and then you can fill it in so the insides of mine are going to be the darkest point Like so, rinsing my brush, picking up some lighter red. You don't even have to pick up red. You can just blend it out because it might have enough pigment to do that. And that is not what I wanted, so I am... It's just the quadruple zero, because it's so small, it doesn't hold very much pigment, doesn't hold very much water. So it's hard to sometimes get the color that you want or the shading that you want. So what I'm doing here is picking up um, honestly as much as the paint of the paint as I can, and you can even Get a paper towel and go in with that. And then going back 
with the red. So. Man, I did it again. Sorry, this is getting a little bit annoying. Kind of hard to get what I want here. I'm gonna leave this for now because if I'm gonna go crazy if I keep trying to mess with that. Um, what I'm gonna do since this tail portion is fairly dry now, I am going to grab some of the blue with the black that I used up here. And I'm going to create these little concave flattened U shapes to try and mimic the sections of a of the tail. And if you want, you can also outline that good enough I would say and then we also want to do the head portion there. So I'm sticking with my quadruple zero because I have to get all in between the eyes, which I'm really hoping are dry by now. Super tricky. Okay, I'm going to utilize my size one and blend that out. Actually, shoot, before I do that. I just want to connect it to the body. There we go. See, it's a lot easier to do that gradient effect when you're working on a slightly larger area. So then we have the mouth of a dragonfly. I've had the, I don't know what you'd call it, luxury of looking at a dragonfly very close up. There was one actually eating an insect. I don't know if, what it was because, but they are like, you do not want one of these guys biting you because they just kind of chew and chew and chew and regurgitate and chew some more like that's a not a fun way to be taken out by a dragonfly kind of wish i made the eyes wider of this dragonfly so naturally i'm going to try and fix that <sighs> OK, 
okay that was a mistake i wish i didn't do that oh why do i do these things guys why do i do these things like sometimes i i just make myself so angry because something looked fine it wasn't exactly how i wanted it but then you know i try to fix it and i make it look really bad and then i try to fix it even more and then make it look even worse and it's just a spiral from there it's very annoying so i'm gonna leave that before i make it even worse it's like an alien dragonfly whatever okay Let me analyze this thing. We have to add some legs to our friend. So I'm gonna take that original blue that we used for the body portion. I'm gonna have two little thin things coming out here. Then we've got the legs. to add some legs to the bottom i'm gonna wait for those ones like the bottom legs because we're gonna be painting over uh this part of the dragon like the wings and i don't want to paint over the legs like they should be the ones that are sticking out the most although wait no the legs would be on the bottom <laughs> like underneath the wings um so i'm gonna whatever we're gonna leave that for now we're gonna do the part that I've been looking forward to the most, and that is adding metallic gold accents to this thing. I am so excited about that. So I've got my metallic gold here. It's more like a yellow. Maybe I should add this copper instead because that looks like super metallic-y. I'll mix them together. I have a copper gold. Anyways, so I'm going to be outlining the wings with this gold. Now this probably would have been a lot more dramatic had I not used metallic for the wings. But I could not help myself. It paints so um, flawlessly or fluidly, like very obstruction free. It doesn't drag like I thought it would. So I'm very happy with it so far.
I keep going in with my quadruple zero and just taking off the gold from the body. Because I want it to remain flawless. She's looking quite nice. Uh, so I want to put some kind of patterns on these wings so they don't look so plain. Maybe like the pattern of dragonfly wings, if you know what I mean. Like they have these, I'm going to freehand this. I hope I don't regret this. I just keep painting on my the body. <sighs> I have an eyelash here. Something like that. That looks a little bit more like a butterfly wing, but we're going to roll with it. So before I decide what to do with this top part, I'm going to do the little circle that runs all the way around. So I want this to be, you know, all metallic-y and pretty. So this particular design is inspired by an image by watercolor guild or something like that so i'll have it in the description but i love how it looks very um what's the word i'm looking for medieval almost So I'm really tempted to try this copper color that I have here, but I, uh, I don't want to potentially ruin. I think I should have went with the yellow instead of the gold. I can't really <laughs> switch now. I'm going to take the metallic yellow now, which actually looks more like gold to me. I don't know why I didn't just use that from the beginning. But I'm going to add some offshoots on this thing to vary it up a little bit. I want to 
to do something with the top wing. But I'm not entirely sure what yet. Hmm. I think I'll take like a metallic blue. add like webbing or something okay that is not really looking how I thought it was gonna look maybe I should take metallic what is this silver a brighter one. So I'm just adding it to the inside of this one going outwards to add like this white shimmer, I guess. Okay. I don't know, I feel like this is missing something. It's it's not quite how I want it. And I can't really figure out why. Like what is it that is missing here for me? Um, maybe if I try filling this in with gold or yellow. No, I wish I didn't do that. I don't like how that looks at all, but I have to do it on the other side now. I'm gonna actually try to take that off. I'm gonna override it with the the white shimmer or the silver, whatever color this is. I don't know. I don't know what it is that, that's missing from this painting, but there's something missing and I can't quite put my finger on it. But geez, we're already like 40 minutes into this. I'm definitely going to have to edit this down uh, and shorten it. There's something missing, like the wings have to be more intense in some way, I just can't figure it out. It's, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you would add to it. Um, if, if you were painting this, what is it, what is missing in this painting? Let me know. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe uh, if you did like it, and I will see you in the next tutorial.